Hi viewers welcome to my youtube channel my name is aryan athaniel department of zoology today we are going to discuss about animal breeding this animal breeding is a part of strategies for improvement of food or for enhancement of food production here breeding of animals is an important strategy breeding of animals is an important aspect of animal husbandry so animal husbandry for the rearing of livestock for the production of food to the ever increasing human population so this animal breeding helpful for improving animal husbandry so here breeding is crossing between animals to get desirable qualities of breeds so breed animal breeding aims at increasing the yield of animals and improving the desirable qualities of the produce increasing the yield of animals the improving the desirable qualities of the produce so the main aim of the animal breeding increase the yield improving the desirable qualities when desirable qualities are improved the yield or the productivity will increase here breed means a group of animals which are related by descent and similar most characteristics like general appearance features size configuration etc so when a group of animals are similar in these characteristics that group of animals are considered as a breed breed is a group of animals which may be relatively similar in the appearance features size configuration body parts similar body parts so that characters when we see in a group of animals that all group of animals are considered as a breed example cow breeds buffalo breeds sheep breeds etc desirable qualities for animal breeding so some desirable qualities we should select for animal breeding to improve the quality and yield potential to the breeds so in that disease resistance it play an important role in animal breeding to improve the qualities of breeds for production of quality breeds disease resistance is important same way increasing in the quality and quantity of the product quality and quantity of the product also one of the desirable quality fast growth rate the animals which we want to 
grass that animals should show or which possess fast growth rate. Enhanced productive life by improving the genetic merit of animal. So productive life should enhance by this mating. So using this grass, the productive life, if a cow producing milk only one year, so that productive life should en enhance into two years or three years like that. So enhanced productive life by improving the genetic merit of animals. Early maturity, it is also one of the desirable quality for more yield, increasing yield. Early maturity, helpful for early productivity. So early maturity and economy of feed. So that feed also economically should be valuable. So like this are the desirable qualities for animal breeding. Methods of animal breeding. There are two major methods of animal breeding are inbreeding and outbreeding. So inbreeding here, inbreeding Outbreeding. Inbreeding, crossing between the animals of the same breed which have common ancestors for up to four to six generations. They have common ancestors. So, this inbreeding helpful to increasing homozygosity. We will see. Inbreeding, when Breeding or crossing between the animals of the same breed. Crossing between the animals of the same breed. That we can tell inbreeding. Inbreeding, mating of more closely related individuals within the same breed for four to six generations. So inbreeding refers to the mating of more closely related individuals of the same breed having common ancestors for up to four to six generations see this breeding strategy as follows superior male and superior female of the same breed that superior male and superior female having superior qualities or desirable qualities that desirable qualities of the two breeds are identified and mated in pairs example superior male in case of cattle cow consequently boss indica indian cow in case of buffalo, superior female, Bubalus, 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 Bubalus is a buffalo. So like superior males and females are identified and mated in inbreeding, that male and female having common ancestors for up to four to six generations, up to four to six generations. For example, so they have up to four to six generations, they have common ancestors. So in this, two male and female, superior male and superior female. So for this both, having common ancestors. Common ancestors are present for this both. So male and female having common ancestors. So for this both again having common ancestors. So like we can observe common ancestors for about four to six generations. So like 
we can observe common ancestors in inbreeding so inbreeding see the progeny obtained from such mating are evaluated and superior males and females among them are identified for further mating so after the progeny obtained from such matings superior males and females again identified for further mating so that produce more milk per lactation case of female so that female can produce more milk per lactation same way that male is a case of bull bull is superior male which gives rise to superior progeny so bulls gives rise to superior progeny female gives more milk per lactation which may gives 5 to 10 liters per lactation or 20 liters per lactation like that so more milk per lactation superior female in case of cows or buffaloes which gives superior progeny that is superior male gives superior progeny so like we can tell inbreeding this inbreeding again two types they are close breeding and line breeding close breeding mating between male parent and female offspring are mating between female parent and male offspring for example parents parents male parent and female parent both male and female parents from this male and female parents offsprings are obtained offsprings again male male offsprings female offsprings are produced when cross between these two male parent and female offspring are when cross between female parent and male offspring this type of crossing is called as close breeding same way line breeding line breeding is nothing but cousin mating it is the selective breeding of animals but desirable features are desired features by mating them in the closely related line so it leads to upgrading desired commercial characters when these two are animals are offsprings so this two offsprings contain some desired features when let's see mating between these two are mating between the male and other related cousin mate female so such type of matings cousin matings we can observe this cousin matings are not like that of close breeding which are somewhat different from the close breeding so cousin mating mating between the male to its cousin female so like with the desired features the desired features we can observe in the offsprings so like we can observe in breeding is close breeding the line breeding so in inbreeding homozygous pure lines are developed so according to mendel 
homogeneous pure lens developed by crossing between the animals of the same breed for four to six generations. So same strategy developing pure lens in cattle in case of used by Mendel in peace same we can observe in the inbreeding in cattle so this inbreeding increases homozygosity when desirable qualities superior qualities breeds are crossing the superior qualities will accumulate so purity will be increased from one generation to another generation the purity will increase that's why you can tell inbreeding increases homozygosity so it also helps in accumulation of superior genes and elimination of less desirable genes so less desirable genes which are not required that less desirable genes will be eliminated and the superior genes accumulate accumulation of superior genes elimination of less desirable genes so superior quality breeds will be developed in inbreeding so thus inbreeding is necessary if we want to evolve a pure line in any animal so if we want to produce pure animals or pure breeds inbreeding is the one of the best strategy so inbreeding helpful to increase the purity of the animals or purity of the breeds so inbreeding along with advantages we can observe some disadvantages also the disadvantages of inbreeding so this inbreeding exposes harmful recessive genes generally harmful recessive genes are eliminated in natural selection when this harmful recessive genes again exposes by that's why you can tell continuously when we are doing cross between the animals of the same breed having common ancestors some harmful recessive genes that are eliminated in the selection will expose expose of that harmful recessive genes may affect to the breeds that's why you can tell continued inbreeding especially close breeding especially close breeding close breeding is a continuous inbreeding that reduces the fertility and the even productivity so fertility and productivity will be reduced by continued inbreeding that we call it is inbreeding depression so inbreeding depression continued inbreeding reduces fertility and productivity so fertility productivity reduced by inbreeding that is also one of the disadvantages of inbreeding so inbreeding advantages are there disadvantages mainly which exposes harmful recessive genes which are generally eliminated in the natural selection same way it shows inbreeding depression when continued inbreeding occurs in the animals so whenever this becomes a problem selected animals of the breeding population should be mated with unrelated superior animals of the same breed this actually helps to restore the fertility and yield or productivity so so that inbreeding can be overcome inbreeding depression can be overcome by mating with unrelated superior animals of the same breed so crossing between the animals of the same breed having common ancestors that reduce the fertility and productivity called inbreeding depression that inbreeding depression can be overcome by crossing between the unrelated superior animals of the same breed that is again restore the fertility and productivity also so that will sell inbreeding depression can be overcome by using this method
next uh, outbreeding outbreeding is the breeding of the unrelated animals outbreeding is the breeding of unrelated animals so this unrelated animals of the same breed are unrelated animals between two different breeds are unrelated animals between two different species also sometimes so outbreeding is a cross between the unrelated animals which may be individuals of same breed but have no common ancestors for four to six generations that we call it is outcross if cross between the two different breeds we call it is cross breeding if cross between two different species it is called interspecific hybridization that we will see clearly outcross cross breed interspecific hybridization are the three methods in outbreeding first outcrossing it is practice of mating animals within the same breed but having no common ancestors on either side of their pedigree up to four to six generations so in this outcross male and female so this male and female we are taking for outcross so this male and females are their pedigree their father and mother again their father and mother again their father and mother again their father and mother so there is no link to this animal ancestors or to this animal ancestors for about four to six generations about four to six generations there is no common ancestors to these two animals so mating between these two animals of same breed which may be cow breed it is also a cow breed so mating between these two animals of the same breed but to these two breeds there are no common ancestors and their pedigree are about four to six generations there is no common ancestors so this type of cross is called as out crossing so the offsprings of such mating is known as out cross out cross is a product obtained from out crossing so it is the best breeding method for animals that are below average in productivity in milk so animals of unrelated breeds sorry animals of the same breed but unrelated in their pedigree there is no relation that's why same breed but no common ancestors that type of unrelated animals when we cross that increase the productivity especially which helpful to overcome inbreeding depression that's why you can tell it is the best breeding method for animals that are below average in milk production same way growth rate in case of beef cattle beef cattle's growth rate is less that growth rate also can be improved by outcrossing outcrossing helpful to improve the milk production which are showing below average milk productivity also increase the growth rate of the beef cattle that's why we can tell a single outcross often helps to overcome inbreeding depression single outcross helpful to overcome inbreeding depression next uh, cross breeding in this cross breeding 
two breeds superior breeds are taking per mating so in this method superior male of one breed mated with a superior female of another breed so breeds are different so that's why you can tell cross breeding mating between two different breeds mating between two different breeds so superior male of one breed crossing with a superior female of another breed so such type of mating produce offsprings the offsprings of such mating is said to be a cross breed so cross breed is a product uh, obtained from cross breeding this cross breeding allows the desirable qualities both the superior male quality superior female qualities to be combined in the progeny so cross breeding allows the desirable qualities of two different breeds to be combined two different breeds of the qualities that qualities of the two different breeds will be combined in cross breed so the progeny hybrid animals may themselves be used for commercial production so this progeny hybrid animals are produced that hybrid animals uh, may themselves used for commercial production again using this hybrids which are helpful for inbreeding process for commercial production same way alternatively they may be subjected to some form of inbreeding and the selection to develop new stable breeds so this hybrid will be taken in inbreeding and produce some stable breeds may be superior to the existing breeds so like cross breeding desirable qualities of the two different breeds superior male and superior female qualities will be combined example many new animal breeds have been developed by cross breeding one of the breed is hazardale hazardale is a new breed of sheep developed in punjab by crossing between bikaneri and merino rams bikaneri is a female breed of sheep female breed of sheep and merino rams are male breed of sheep crossing between these two breeds of sheep produce a new breed of sheep called hazardale interspecific hybridization so in this method of interspecific hybridization cross between two different species see male and female of two different species two different species are mated in some cases the progeny may combine desirable features of both parents both parent features will be combined but this progeny are completely different from the both parents both desirable features will be combined in the progeny which are different from the parents example male donkey commonly called jack crossed with the female horse when male donkey crossed with a female horse it is female horse this male donkey when male donkey crossed with female horse which produce mules mules are produced which are sterile so crossing between two species produce sterile offspring so that's why this sterile offspring mule mule is a product by cross between the male donkey and female horse its mule have economically high value or considerable economic value is present 
which is helpful for transport. Similarly, when cross between male horse stallion with the female donkey genet, hinni also a interspecific hybrid produced, it is also a sterile. Mules and hinnies are products of interspecific hybridization which are sterile.